What are your thoughts about neighborhood schools and the fact that East Side children are still bused for purposes of integration? This is a very, very uh, important issue that uh, you know requires a very robust conversation from the, the community that is being bused out themselves. And so I've been really pay, paying close attention to what those issues are. Uh, I think, irrespective of, uh, of the transportation issue, I think it, it again comes back to the, the programs and services, whether it's mentorship, whether it's tutoring. How can we uh, at least bring those issues, those resources, to the neighborhoods themselves? I obviously want to advocate for uh, the school the school sites themselves to be, uh, with, you know, closer and more accessible. But at a minimum, we should be having the programs and resources, and we can partner with the city with their community facilities. We can partner um, again with uh, neighborhoods, um, with com community centers. I just think that those uh, tutoring and mentoring and after school programs, that can help kind of offset some of the challenges that people have um, with the, the busing. But uh, again, this is a discussion that I want to continue to have with the community. Well, I've been having this discussion for a while now, and I will say in 50 years, I mean, we should be very proud that our USD is the first large school district in the United States to voluntarily be segregated. But essentially, I believe that we closed, we, we did it, we closed the book. We're still busing children out the town in Franklin and other schools. We, we have to have a serious conversation with this community on the east side about Lincoln. Because by law, the, the, the way that the California Ed sets it up, we can't just put a campus anywhere. Even though there's land around us and all that, but there's, and there's not that much. Lincoln needs to become Washington Irving Elementary, again, I pick a better name. And Lincoln itself, I, there are other opportunities for it. We could put Lincoln downtown where there is internships next to a hospital, where there's a community college right there, where there's a this employer in this town is government. There's government internships there. So it's going to take a very uh, strong and uh, uh, really frank discussion with the east side. And because, in my opinion, they have to let go of, of this, uh, of Lincoln, and turn it into an elementary school. And then we can take town and turn it into a, a magnet school. Okay, well, I, I understand that we can turn all the schools into um, different things and we have the ability to do that. I, I, think, um, I, I think I lean a little bit more because of my research background into the conversation part of it. We need to, we need to sit down and actually understand what the thinking is with the community that surrounds those areas and see if we are truly serving. I mean, it, it's kind of a, um, I'm going to say, come to Jesus moment where we really take the time to sit down and actually look at what we're doing and, and be prepared to answer those hard questions, whether we're right or wrong. I don't think that there's an issue there. I think there's there needs to be transparency. There needs to be a robust conversation. It needs to be, we're, we're all adults, obviously, so it just needs to be an adult conversation and, and not something that's personal. Um, I, 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 I have conversations with so many students on the RCC campus, and they come from so many different directions. And this isn't the only district that has this problem. I, I, I talk to students that, that come up with the same type of situation. Uh, I don't like busing. I don't like it. I don't know why we're still doing it. Why are we taking kids to schools to have opportunities? Why aren't those opportunities coming to the kids' schools? So they can stay in their neighborhoods and be part of their community. My kids went to Emerson as well. We used to walk to school from our, and, and we would know the kids in our neighborhood. So we don't live too far from here. So, you know, I hear from parents when I'm out there, the ones whose children are being bused, the kids can't participate in after school activities. They can't do the things, they can't do the clubs that they need. So I think we framed the question wrong. I think we don't need to be taking our kids somewhere to get the best. We need to be bringing the best to our kids in their homes. Yes, absolutely, neighborhood schools for all those reasons. My kids, um, I actually tried when we first moved in to transfer my kids out of Emerson because everybody told me it was a horrible place. And I remember the first day I walked on campus and there was a teacher hanging up little paper uh, t-shirts 
on a clothesline in her classroom. And ever since then, I fell in love with it. And I had the same experience at University Heights Middle School and North High School. How do you know your community? How do you get to appreciate the people around you unless you have a school community to be a part of? Taft tried hard to bring the school community down here by holding parent meetings here and at Bobby Bonds, and it's just not the same. So yes, we absolutely need community schools.